Thank you. He said, knock and the door shall be open. He said, seek and you shall find. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm glad tonight. I'm glad this morning that we have a God that, that met us here this morning. Hallelujah. He, he met us here this morning. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. Jesus.
getting ready to go ahead and have this choir. But y'all, the devil is busy. Come on. Yeah. Do y'all know the devil don't want to see us praise God? I just walked down the street, and the ones that have been complaining, calling the police every Sunday, I told this guy, I said, listen, we are sorry. We don't mean to be this, don't mean to be that. And uh, I, I said, we're going to get to the point to where we're going to be able to soundproof some things when we take the air conditioner out the window. And he told me, up your you-know-what. Yes, he said it. And told me, it, 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 get out of here, do this, do that. I'm calling the police right now. And when I told him, because he told me, turn it off, not down. I said, well, look here, we can't do that. And, and I said, we are, we're already trying to praise the Lord. I said, we just paid $350,000 not to praise God. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the last definition of waiting or of wanting to help someone who is sick, hungry, or troubled, etc. So look at somebody and say, we do have feelings. See, that's another type of feelings. That's feelings that care for the next person. Feeling that show a little bit of love. Oh, and that's much greater than the feeling that you have of your emotions when you're up and down and in and out and all around. I don't hear nobody. Woo, glory to the Lamb of God. I feel like preaching. Oh, but I was going to get to another scripture. Maybe I won't even read it because I got a little messed up and happy right there. But it says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities, spiritual wickedness, rulers of darkness in this present world. Somebody look at your name and say, it's not about how you feel. It's not about how you feel. Oh, I told you last week, sometimes you feel like a nut. And sometimes you don't. I don't hear nobody. Sometimes you twist it up, mess up. One minute you can be happy. I don't hear nobody. One minute you are with your wife, your husband, and you're saying, I love you, baby. And the next minute you're saying, I hate your guts. I don't hear nobody. And then when you get ready to walk out, I love you again. The devil is a liar. You cannot act upon your feelings. Sometimes you get so irritated. 
about what you feel. That's right. It's not about your feelings. That's right. Oh, God told me to tell y'all that today. It's not about what you feel. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Sometimes I feel like giving up. But I can't do it. Sometimes I feel like fighting. But I can't do it. Sometimes I feel like walking away. But I can't do it. Sometimes I feel like throwing in the towel. But I can't do it. Sometimes y'all get to my nerves so bad that I just want to walk away from you and leave you alone. But guess what? I can't do it. Sometimes my kids make me walk. Oh, Lord, help me today. But I can't. That's right, you can't. Because it's not about what I feel. Amen. Are y'all hearing me? See, it's time out for us fighting. Felix. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to fight the right feelings and allow the right feelings to deal with us. Come on, somebody. And I don't know about you, but I feel God up in here right now. Ooh, come on, somebody. Anybody feeling it? Anybody feeling it? Anybody feel God up in here? So we have to learn what to fight. We got to learn what to hold on to. Because the Bible tells us in the book of Ecclesiastes that there's a time to kill, a time to let live, a time to fight, a time to, to, to talk, a time to refrain from it, a time to hug, embrace, a time to love, a time to do all things. But we have to learn the times and the seasons. Look at your neighbor and ask them, do you know what time it is? Find these feelings. Are y'all catching this? I wish I had something written down that I could go with today, but I just, all I got is the scripture definition, Lord, help me. Glory to the Lamb of God. Stop fighting feelings. Some of us feel that our leadership is wrong. And you fight. Do y'all know that's what's hindering us and stopping us from getting anywhere? Yes. Hallelujah. And then as soon as you don't obey and you don't follow leadership and you don't do what you're supposed to do and we don't go nowhere, then you want to talk down on the leader. All right. The devil is a liar. Yes, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But it's coming to a point that where we have to get to this. We have to have the classes that First Lady get ready to have. We have to do these types of things because yes. we do not understand that we have to come together and get along. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. Am I all in the conversation oh my God. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. But we have to quit fighting when God speaks. That last definition, let me deal with it just for a second and then I'm going to get out your way. I'm going to preach now. Thoughts of wanting to help someone. Somebody shout feelings. Shout good feelings. Who is sick, hungry, troubled, etc. Somebody shout feelings. Yeah. Now say it again, good feelings. Yeah. This is what we are to do. Yeah. We're supposed to do what's right and push away what's wrong. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Hallelujah. It's time for us to follow God. It's not about what you feel. 
Sometimes you feel your wife ain't this and your wife ain't that. You feel your husband ain't doing this and ain't doing that. Listen, if that was the case, you already messed up because you shouldn't have married him. You made vows before God. You shouldn't have married her. Now what it's time for you to do is shut up and deal with it. And you try to work it out with wisdom. Come on, somebody. But because she ain't acting right, I ain't going to buy her no shoes. But her feelings. Come on, somebody. Because he ain't acting right, I ain't going to cook him no food. But I'm going to fend for me and let her fend for her. Somebody shout, the devil is alive. All right, boo-boo. The devil is a lie. Hallelujah. But we got to know what to fight against. And if you're fighting, you got to fight for good in that situation. Because the Bible says, with love and kindness have I drawn thee. That wife ain't did right. Listen here, baby. Come on. I want her to do right, so let me buy her some shoes. That's right. Love and kindness. That's right. I want her to do right, so let me get her hair done. And oh, she looked good with that chain around her leg, so let me get that too. Let me do my part. That's right. That's right. Because that's what you're accountable for. That's right. See, but y'all let the devil get your mind. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. That husband ain't acting right. Make him do right. Yes. And you can do it too. Cook him some food. That's right. Somebody said the way to, to a man hard is through his. Come on, somebody. And you season it just right. That man gonna bite his fingers when he put it in his mouth. And then it's gonna be so good he's gonna wanna bite you next. Come on, somebody.
It's not about what you feel. So stop running your mouth. Shut up. Stop complaining. Stop murmuring. Stop running your mouth about everything that's here, everything that's not, everything that's going on, everything that you think, whatever you think is wrong or right or going on. Just shut up. Just do the right thing. That's it. Just do it. Amen. Y'all catch it? Away from God. 
We as saints are not what we used to be. But Lord, we need to get it together. Help me today, Lord. Help me. I need your help. Hallelujah. Y'all not calling? And the Bible declares that we are clean through the words which have been spoken to us. I don't even have to lay hands on you. Because if you know where it hits you, you know how to say, Lord, I need you. And then you got to trust him and know that God is God. Hallelujah. But is there anyone out of the ark of safety that don't know Jesus today as your personal Savior and you're saying that I'm ready. I'm ready. I don't want to leave this church today like I came. Is there one? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there one that's ready to rededicate your life? Is there one? I believe everybody in the building can say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Everyone standing to your feet. So in this, I'm not going to kill myself today. I'm going to kill myself preaching. Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for all that I've done against your will. Forgive me for holding on to things I should. Lord, for pushing away things that I should. Forgive us, Lord. Teach us which way to go. Teach us what to do. Lord, we are dependent on you to lead us and to guide us from this moment forward. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way. Deal with each and every one of us, Lord, that your word has hit today. That your word has dealt with because we need you. We know what's needed. We know what your word is saying today. So, Lord, help me. Come on, we all can say it. We know we can. If you really mean it, Lord, I need your help. I need your help. I want to be right. I want to do the right thing. I really want to be right and do the right thing. Wash me. Make us clean. Purge us with hyssop. That we may be whiter than snow. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Cover us with your blood. Take us higher today. Rebuke everything that's not like you. Touch our enemies. Touch the one that don't want to see us make it anywhere. In the name of Jesus, lift them up, Lord, that they might come running saying, what must I do in order to be saved? In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. And everything that's not like you that's in us, everything that's not like you, we ask that you remove it and give us strength. There's a few strongholds in here that we're battling today, Lord. We rebuke the stronghold to things that, Lord, started spiritually and has attached itself to our flesh. Now we're fighting in every way. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise and glory. We give you honor and worship. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Everyone clap their hands, clap their hands, clap their hands. Give God some praise. One more thing. The Lord told me, the word of the Lord says, that some of us are dealing with things and going through things just because of the fact God wants to see what we are going to do. 
God wants to see how faithful we're going to be. I told us that there is a difference between excitement. See, excitement, you get excitement for the moment. You get excited, you'll do anything. But an excited person, you know the difference between an excited person and a determined person. Because one who is excited, come on somebody, there's some that will get something started and they'll quit. Yeah. Because they lose excitement. Yeah. Excitement is temporary. But determination. Man, you preaching. You helping me preach. Determination endures. Determination, whether you're sick, whether you're going through, whether you've been talked about, whether you've been lied on, whether they like you, whether they don't, you're going to continue to hold up that bloodstained banner. Lord, help us to be determined. Help us today. If you feel that way, look at your neighbor and say, I'm determined. I am determined. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we praise you. In Jesus' name. Did you get it? I'm not laying hands today. Come on. I just threw it at you. Come on. Did you catch it? Did you get what you needed? Hallelujah. Woo! We got it. We got it. We got it. Now let's run with this word. Because it comes from God. Now, we're going to go into the offering. And we're going to let the choir dismiss us.